YouTube, it's Dawson Ryder here with a review of SH Figure Arts Clay Doll Dopont from Common Rider Double. Depending on what goes on this, this probably will be a fairly short review. Uh, so anyway, let's get on, move on with this and get with the packaging. So once again, Figure Arts continues this unique style packaging, although this one's fairly boring. It's kind of done in a tan, skinnish color, I guess to reflect Clay Doll's look, which is nice, it just doesn't come off that exciting. Got a picture of Clay Doll right here, it says Clay Doll Dopont on the side. Common Rider Double, names on the side again, uh, on this side, on the top, there's those numbers, and on the back it shows Claydol being generally creepy, shows where its driver is, a back shot, and it shows that it comes with Miku. Speaking of that, what does this come with? This. That's it. It comes with Miku, uh, the family cat of the Sonozaku fa Sonozaku. Sonozaki family. It's a nice accessory though, look, its feet are even painted. Uh, it's nicely detailed, it looks creepy. Um, it's just really, it is pretty neat that they included that, just because for a hardcore double fan like myself, it's nice to have something like that for the display. And it'll definitely be interesting to put next to my Smilodon, uh, figure out zero when it gets here. So that's nice, but that's all it comes with because she's got no change of hands or anything. Let me pull out and zoom in a little bit. So here's the figure itself. Um, honestly, this is probably the strangest figure art I own. Uh, Clay Doll is a very strange design, uh, taking a look at its head sculpt, it's very well done, but as you can see, it's a very odd head. It's got this creepy lifeless stare, it's got boobs for eyebrows, got these weird, uh, like, knobs off of here. It kind of looks like one of those creatures from Spy Kids, the Flugels or whatever, I don't know. I don't remember, anyway, but it looks weird, it's nicely done, it's just a very, very odd figure. As you can see, it's got sponge boobs down here, I don't know what's going on here, they look like like tapioca pudding, but it's, they're well done. Uh, shoulder pads well done as well. Uh, they you got her, her like hands here. Uh, it's kind of like it's closed up, like weird claw thing. It looks weird. Um, this hand here is like a blaster cannon sort of, and they're they're well done. Like I said, uh, her skirt down here is all hard plastic, not much maneuverability. On the back here, you can see the driver. Um, it's nicely detailed, I suppose. Uh, legs really nothing to tell. It's gray here. It's got these giant like boots here that are brown. Articulation-wise, uh, its head can move up and down. Because of how short its neck is and how big its head is, just the, the limited uh, movement appears, but it can move its head 360, which kind of makes sense for this thing. Uh, 360 ball joint here, swiveling, uh, double elbow joint here, and you can cannot swivel this because it's not a hand. Same thing here, uh, just no movement around the hands, so there's no hands. Uh, you do have waist and chest articulation on this, like most figure arts. Uh, you got the joints here, the 360 and the swiveling, and the double joints here and the swiveling here and the moving all around. No toe action. Um, it's pretty much hindered by the skirt, both this way and this way, so that is a little annoying, but what kind of poses did you want out of this thing anyway? But I kind of had it in like a blaster pose, so I don't know. Like overall, it's definitely a, a good figure in terms of detail and it looks show accurate. Um, it's just a very strange one. Um, let me bring in, I didn't bring them all because Nazca's wings like to be a bitch. But here it is with uh, Arnaska. Arnaska's taller than it, but it fits in well with it. And then here she is with. Let me move everyone down a little bit. Arnaska, you can go to the side. With the Figure Art Zero Terror Dopant. And it's actually pretty well in. Whoa, I'm sorry about that. It's pretty well in scale. Let me just move these dudes back. Um, Terror Dopant even coming in taller because of this. And you still are having a hard time seeing that. But they look good together. Like. This shot of all these Dopants together looks good. Um, so really though, I only recommend this figure to hardcore double fans that are trying to get all the Dopants. Um, and like this is a personal thing because it's all up to you, but if you're not getting the other Sonozaki family members, specifically the Zeros, this is just kind of odd to have on its own. I mean it's a solid figure, but it's just a really really strange figure to have unless you're a huge fan of the character or a huge double fan then I could just say pass and save your money for something else because it can be pricey. But otherwise, it does look good with all the other Dopants and I'm pleased with this little collection I have going here. But otherwise, an easy pass unless you're a hardcore double fan. So anyway, until next time, check out the epic podcast at writersrangersrambles.com and of course, while you're there, check out Toku News in the craziest way possible and ho head over to the Ramboards to discuss how weird uh, her cottage cheese boobs are or her eyebrow boobs are or anything else fun. So anyway, until next time, Dice Rider, signing out.